Welcome back, Survivalists. So I'm very excited to announce that I have renewed my BattleBox subscription. So when I first started this channel a couple years ago, my BattleBox videos were some of my first videos that I made, and I really enjoyed them. BattleBox is the best way to find out about the latest and coolest survival and prepping and just wilderness gear out there. And what they are is a monthly subscription. They have four different tiers that you can sign up for. They've got the basic box for $30 a month, the advanced box for $60 a month, the pro box for $110 a month, and the Pro Plus box for $160 a month. And that is what I signed up for, the Pro Plus box, which also enrolls you in their Knife of the Month. So I am very, very excited. And if you guys are interested in signing up for your own Battle Box subscription, I will have an affiliate link down in the description below, as well as links to all of the gear in this box as well. So you can use this video just as a way for you to find out about the latest and greatest and coolest survival and prepping gear out there. So let's jump right into it. This is my first new battle box of 2021. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. I haven't actually looked at it yet. I don't even know how to open it. Here we go. All right, it's packed full of all sorts of great stuff and this is Mission 28. So I will say right off the bat that this is a lot nicer. Check this out. They actually break down all the different gear in there for you. I like that a lot more. When I first had my subscription with them a couple years ago, all you got was like a little post-it card with all the gear on there and it wasn't that great. So they have definitely done, uh, they've really stepped up their game since my last battle box. So this is mission 28. So let's take a look here. And so it looks like they've actually got this broken down by the items in the basic box and then the advanced box and the pro box. So I'm gonna try to go through here and let's start off with the basic box. The first item is the blaze defense friend mk5 so let's take a look here so that is this guy so this is a fire extinguisher that is what this is now this is one of the less glamorous items of prepping is fire extinguishers a lot of people don't even really consider this um, but this is incredibly crucial to have a good fire extinguisher and this one's just like super compact it looks like it's got a little safety mechanism here um, I like that a lot, man. You can even attach like a little carabiner to this if you wanted to attach this to the back of your backpack. A lot of people don't even have a fire extinguisher in their own home. I, I'm willing to bet a lot of people watching this video don't have a fire extinguisher in their own home, but it really is something necessary. And I love how compact and lightweight this is because you can include this in your survival kit. So when you have a winter blackout like that, make sure you have this out with you if you're lighting candles and lighting a fire. Um, you can include this in really any of your, your survival kits. So I like this a lot um, to include in your preps and in any sort of survival kit that you're going to be making. So next up on the list is the Ballistic Molly Gear Pouch. Let's see if we can find that. So that's this guy right here. So Molly Gear is just, it's just fun thing to have. I, I really like having Molly Gear and kind of, you know, decking myself out. And what Molly Gear is, essentially you have these straps in the back and you have straps in the front here, and it makes it very easy and very modular for you to attach gear. So you can use this to attach some kind of items to your backpack or to your chest. Um, a lot of people have molly rigs in their vehicles as well. So it's just very modular. You can attach different things. And I'm willing to bet that this is actually meant to go along with this guy. So you could have this, um, if I could figure out how to undo this, okay, I gotta untie it but you can carry this around with you um, in your Molly gear and have this in your vehicle, have it in your survival kit, have it on your backpack or your chest, whatever you want. A lot of people in the military, they use these Molly pouches like this to hold your magazines, right? So you have a few extra magazines, you can have it right here on your chest or on your legs, so you're ready to go. And so you can use this pretty easily with this fire extinguisher. So you have this on your chest, on your backpack, um, and these things are just really nice to have. You can actually stack multiple Molly gear um, on top of each other as well. So these two items are in the basic box. Moving along, we have the Southern Survival Screwgate Climbing Carabiners. So that is these guys right here. So I love a good carabiner, right? There is just a million and a half uses for a good carabiner. And I have many, many carabiners. Um, a lot of mine are pretty crappy though. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of them are just like crappy carabiners that you get from Home Depot, or even the grocery store. And if you ever tried like using those for like hammock camping or something, they break incredibly easily. So it looks like this can hold 5,500 pounds per carabiner. 
That is astonishing. That is a huge, huge amount of weight. So definitely this could, I'm 210 pounds, so definitely this could hold me. Um, I love that, man. That, that, these are definitely gonna be the strongest carabiners that I have. So, you know, you can use this for any number of uh, reasons. If you're going out and you're hammock camping, for example, this would make a great addition. One of my last videos was talking about my Hennessy hammock and that I hated the strap system that they have for attaching the hammock to the tree. One of the options that I brought up is that you can get a good carabiner like this and instead of using the weird lashing thing that comes along with Hennessy hammocks, you can just get some tree straps or some cordage and just get a carabiner like this and hook it on to it that way. So I love that. Like you will really find a lot of uses for this. You can even use this as like a pulley system. Let's say you have a really heavy log or a rock you're trying to get it to move. You could rig up a couple of these with some cordage and a tree and use it as a pulley system. And that way you can essentially use your own body weight to lift something heavy up. Maybe even like a deadfall, right? If you're trying to set up some kind of deadfall trap um, or rig some kind of snare system up. So I love that they use these. These are 5,000 pounds, 5,500. This is gonna be my toughest carabiner that I own. So that is also in the basic box. So very cool, I love that. So next up we have the Hot Snot Fire Starter. So that is this guy right here. So I have heard of this and this is, you know, it's a fire starter, right? So you throw a spark on this or you get a flame to it and it will ignite and burn for a good while. Um, and I love that, right? I, I think that that's a good uh, tool to bring with you camping or in your survival kit. There's a lot of different fire starters out there, right? There's ones that are like cordage or jute. Like you can get jute, for example, could be a good fire starter. There's powders that you can buy. There's little cakes that you can buy. You can even make your own fire starter as well. And so hot snot is what they're calling this. And uh, this is kind of like a paste. It looks a lot like toothpaste. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I wish I could try that out right now, but yeah, that's a great thing to have um, to bring along with you when you're camping, especially if there's wet wood, right? If everything's wet outside and you need to get a fire starting started, uh, having some kind of fire starter like this is gonna be really, really helpful. And it's actually kind of cool that it's in this form, you know? I'm just thinking now, like let's say you had a log and it's a little wet, you wanted to get it going. If you just have one of those powder things, it may be a little hard to kind of control where that flame is. But something like this, you could just put it literally on the wet log that you wanna start. Uh, throw a spark on there and you can get a pretty good fire going in an emergency. Fire lube in a tube. I like that a lot. And then the last item that they're including in their um, basic box is this little patch here. Uh, now, I, I'm, I've only just renewed my BattleBox subscription. So I'm not ex exactly familiar with this thing, but I think this is one of their vehicles that they have at the BattleBox location. You can't really see it too well. It looks kind of like a Jeep Cherokee to me. I used to have a Jeep Cherokee that was lifted up like this, except it's got six wheels, three on each side. So this is like a heavy duty ATV type thing. So that's pretty cool. And I, and I think this is kind of a bonus item. So if you have the basic box subscription, that is everything that you would get in this month's uh, subscription to the battle box. So let's move along to the advanced box. And in the advanced box, you get all this, plus you get all the items in the advanced box as well. So the first one that you're gonna get is the Southern Survival Mill Spec Jerry Can with Spout. And that is this guy here. This is the Jerry Can. And I think it's just a very heavy duty stainless steel gas can, uh, which is a pretty freaking nice thing to have as well. Let's get this guy open. So again, going back to the, my, my old Jeep Cherokee that I have, you used to see people with these big giant jerry cans attached to the back of the Jeep Cherokees. That's pretty common. Um, yeah, this feels very, very solid. I like that a lot. Southern Survival Mill Spec Jerry Can. Um, and I do like this design. You know, I have a lot of gas cans um, and nowadays there's all kinds of weird like regulations and these weird little tips that you have to get for the gas cans. So I love having something this heavy duty and you know, this, this simple of a spout on it, you know? So something like this would be great to keep in your car. You know, just for example, let's say you run out of uh, gas, you know, how many people have just an empty gas can in their car right now? Probably not many people. Uh, I think that this would make a good item to include in your car. You probably keep it empty for the most part and only use it if you had to get like an Uber to a gas station or something along those lines. But if you have a generator at your house as well, 
if you know there's a bad storm coming, it may be a good idea to fill a can up like this with some gasoline. Um, this is just a good tool to have in, in your home. And again, I love how solid this is. You know, something like this, these things last a long time. You can still find jerry cans like this from antique stores from like the 70s and the 80s. I guess it wouldn't be an antique store, but you can still find these like flea markets sometimes. So I think uh, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. So that is in the advanced box. So that is a, a $70 value. That's how much that thing retails for. Now you also are going to get the Raptor Mano Knife. So that is this guy right here. So this thing kind of confused me when I first saw it, um, because I did to kind of take a sneak peek at what's inside this box. And you first get this little guy, and you're like, what the heck is this? And you open it up, and it's still really nothing. It's still pretty confusing. There's no blade or anything on there. But what it is, is um, you can stick a handle through here. I think maybe you stick this guy. No, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, you stick this guy through here. You screw this back on. Right, so now is it making a little bit more sense what this is? So one more component left to it, um, but you probably would hold it like this, and then you can attach blades to it. So this is essentially a handle for these different types of blades, and they have two different blades here. They have um, the Mano and, let's see, I'll open one of these guys up. This one is more like, uh, has teeth on it for sawing through branches and everything. Let's go ahead and get this guy out, take a look. All right, so now it has two screws on here, but there is a screwdriver built into this handle. And essentially you're gonna unscrew it, attach this to it, and now you've got a, um, a handsaw, right? If you're out in the woods or something like that, you got a very solid handsaw. And what's interesting is just the design of this, how, how you hold it like this, for doing that sawing motion rather than holding it like that and having your hand at a weird angle. That will tire your hand much more. Holding like this is much more natural, right? Your, your wrist is straight, and so you're just going back and forth like this, or you, you're using less muscles um, in that. And I think that is pretty cool that how interchangeable these blades are. Um, so you have different functionalities with it. So again, this is more like a handsaw here. Whereas this guy, let's open him up and see what kind of blade you get with him. This guy is uh, a little bit different. This is more like for processing game, maybe, you know, for much more refined cutting if you're trying to open up. Um, let's really take a look at him. If you're trying to gut a deer, let's say. This could be, yeah, I mean, just that style of blade, you can tell this is for penetration and then really like ripping something open uh, like a deer, deer hide. And that's really interesting. So again, you know, you unscrew this, you can attach that guy in there. And it's just kind of that same uh, motion with your hand in order to cut through something rather than turning your wrist at a weird angle like that. So it's just more ergonomic, I guess, is the word. And I think that's really interesting how these blades are interchangeable like that. So that's a really cool little tool. And once again, this is called the Raptor Razor Mano Knife. And this is in the Pro Box. Now in the Pro Plus Box, which is what I sign up for, you get one additional item to go along with that. And that is their Knife of the Month. So let's take a look at this. This is the Revolt Remov knife. I'm probably not pronouncing that very well. So let's take a look here. So you got a nice hard uh, sheath for that. This thing has some weight to it. I'll, I'll tell you that right off the bat, I can tell that this thing has some pretty substantial weight to it. All right, so we take this guy out. This is the blade right here. And I'll tell you that thing, that thing looks dangerous. That is a very pretty blade right there. And again, you can tell this has a bit of a taper to it. So you can see the blade's much thicker here and gets much thinner. Um, you can tell that this is, again, meant for hunting. That's what this type of design is with these very clean um, edges to it. It also has a 90 degree spine on there. So you could use this with a ferro rod as well. 
it was always really nice. That's something that I look for is one of these 90 degree spines. But you can tell that this is, you know, be great for cutting through, gutting a fish, gutting an animal, something along those lines. Um, I love the ergonomic shape here. It really does conform to your fingers pretty well. And this is, it's got some weight to it. And I like that. I do not like uh, light knives. So if you're doing some backpacking and you're looking for something really lightweight, maybe not the best knife for you, but for, you know, hunting, you know, or for a good survival knife, I can see this being uh, very useful in that, in that situation. Now this knife also has another feature, which is really interesting. It's kind of hidden in there, but it's got some jimping here on the back for your thumb. If you pull down on that, you've got a secret um, tool that comes out of the uh, base of the knife here. And what this is for is, again, it's kind of like a, a multi-tool, but this is for gutting animals, right? This little blade right here is, let's say, uh, let's say you were trying to gut a deer and you're using a knife like this, you puncture it, you start pulling the uh, knife through the deer's carcass, you're gonna puncture the organs, you're gonna puncture the, the gut and you're gonna have bile spilling out. It's gonna make a big mess and could ruin the food. So really what you wanna do is you make a little um, cut there, then you get this guy, stick it in there and you just pull it along the deer. And that little blade right there will just cut open the skin. So this is really meant for hunting and for processing meat. Um, it also has, this is probably a bottle opener here as well. And I love that, I like that feature. I think that's really cool. And I think it, it just slides right back in there. Um, and you really wouldn't even notice it. Like you could hand this knife to somebody and they probably wouldn't even realize that it's in there. Another thing I noticed, it's, it's in there pretty solid. Like this thing is not flopping around. The only real way to get it is to hold the knife like this and press downwards on this jimping. So I, I'm a little surprised by how solid it is in there. So anyway, this is a, a really nice knife. I'm very happy with this knife. This is very, very solid. And I think that this could make a good addition to somebody's survival kit, you know? This could make a good survival knife, especially if you are processing any meat or any game. I like that a lot. I love this little hidden feature here with this additional uh, little blade in there for processing meat. And it, it feels very solid in your hand because they do have some knives that have that little tool built into the handle, but it, it you would be able to feel it in your hand. And this is very comfortable. The It's kind of rounded as well, this handle here, which I like. It makes it much easier to grip this uh, in your hand. So that is everything in the Pro Plus box. Um, and once again, I will have links to all of these items down in the description below. And if you guys are interested in getting your own Battle Box subscription, I'll have an affiliate link down below where you can check that out. And if you guys want to check out my video breaking down the top 10 survival items under $20, you can check that out right here. Don't forget to subscribe for more wilderness survival and prepping videos. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that little bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you over in the next video.